Hello, hello, sup y'all, this is Boonies Girls 80 signing in. How is everyone? I am blessed. Today is my first day as a Christian missionary in the overworld of Minecraft. This episode's verse is Mark 16, 15. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So here I am in the overworld of Minecraft. And uh, yeah, beautiful day, beautiful day. As you can see, it's sunny, just a little bit of clouds. Beautiful pine forest that I got parachuted into. And now all I got to do is reach back and get my... Wait a minute. Something's missing. Where's my luggage? That was supposed to be parachuted with me. I mean, come on. I mean, everything is in there. My clothes, my favorite scarf, my Bible, my survival book. I mean, this is a really dangerous area. Where's my survival book? Luckily enough, I got my Bible with me, so I'm not too concerned about that. But, yeah, I... Oh, well. Let's see, if I remember right, the village is that way. And, Bob, if you can hear me, that's enough of your shenanigans. Why didn't you parachute my stuff? All right, I better get moving, because if I remember right, there's a village that way. And I better get moving, because once night falls, the monsters come out, and I do not want to be around with, well, virtually nothing. Yeah, I better get moving. Ooh, berries. At least I'll have some food. Unfortunately, my favorite snacks were in my luggage. That Bob so unfortunately decided that didn't need to come with me. Ha ha ha. Thanks a lot, Bob. You better get it back to me. Come on. Jump out, jump out. There we go. Looks like I'm going to get beat up before I even get there. Wait, wait. Creature, creature. The Bible did say preach the gospel to all the creatures. Hey, hey, hey. Pig, 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 pig. Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Oh, don't run away. I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. Okay, so at least I got something to munch on. Besides, I can also plant these, which is nice. Oh, look at that. Spring of water. Let me get around this spring here, and I do believe that in this direction, I should find some roots. Sooner, hopefully, rather than later. Because, yeah, once the darkness comes, the darkness breeds monsters. There it is! Yes! At least I remember the coordinates. I got a crappy memory, but at least I remember the coordinates. Hello, hello, sweet, beautiful village. Hello? Is there anybody home? Look, people. And, uh, whoever you are. <laughs> you kind of look scary. I am going to give you the respect that you deserve and, you know, just kind of, uh... Yeah, I'll give you space, dude. Cool, now I can make a wheat farm. We have carrots. We have villager. Hey, villager, villager, do you know Jesus? Oh, wait, um, I'm sorry. You know, I took four years of classes to learn their language because it is very highly complex, but... Uh-huh. 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 Okay, ignore me. But, uh, yeah, I guess I better get settled in. All right, so I've craft, uh, brought a few materials. Basically, I chopped down three trees with my bare fist. As you can see, I've um, been taking a little look at the village, too. It's a really nice setup for a village. I mean, most normal Minecraft villages are all so, I don't know, just almost torn apart looking because they're, they're not, you know, very smooth in the roads and stuff like that. This is actually one of the best villages I've seen in a long time. That, it has carrots, potatoes, and beets. So I've got all the major vegetables. I found pumpkins out in the woods. I didn't harvest them, but I know they're there. Plus, I have the berries nearby. There's three different types of woods. And a nice river. So this is a really, really nice starter village. Probably one of the best I've seen. Very, very nice. Um, let's see. Sun is starting to go down. But I've got my first crafting table. And I made a deal with the guy who owns this house here that if I fixed his lock, here, I'll come in and show you. 
See how his loft is? It's not much of a loft now, is it? However, he told me that if I could fix it and make it a real loft, then he would allow me to live up here in his attic. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. We can do that. I can do that. Unfortunately, their building skills kind of suck. Luckily, they don't understand English. So I may as well spend my first night making my room. I know this sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so we placed a crafting table down, and I've got to make... I do want to make sure that I make at least one wooden tool. I've got to make the one wooden pickaxe. It's the only wooden tool I allow myself to make. If I need another wooden tool, then that's a wooden tool of shame. Yeah, one wooden tool. That is it. I know I'm going to need quite a few slabs. That should do. That should do. I think I can leave that there. Since I don't have a bed of my own, I may as well just work in here through the night. I mean, why not? I also learned that those steel boys are a security system. Looks like he's doing his job. Go ahead. Yeah, I refuse to even make a, uh, a wooden axe. I just, I can't do it. this and they are working on that go ahead and take a quick break from as I said earlier the darkness breeds some pretty bad creatures not having a bed the first night I had to wait it out in the loft and of course that meant some pretty nasty things had to spawn I was forced to make a wooden sword I nailed one zombie so far. There's a few other little crispy critters that are running around that I like to take care of. Hoping that they despawn somehow. I saw a couple of creepers. Really don't want to deal with them. Have to deal with them this early in the game. So I think the focus right now should be getting a bed. And that means sheep. Sheep are going to have to die. I desperately need wool. Plus, a little bit of meat wouldn't hurt, that's for sure. And then after I get sufficient wool... I can thus then... There's another sheep, just like that. Sweet! Same color, too. That just made my day a bit easier. Once I get sufficient wool, I can make a bed, sleep, and not have to worry about this kind of stuff anymore. But I'm also going to have to get a bunch of stone. As you can see by the iron in my inventory, the iron golem unfortunately didn't make it last night. Which is kind of sad because he did take care of quite a few of the zombies and skeletons and stuff like that. Hence the, some of the other goodies that I got in my inventory without actually having to work for them. Now I've got to get stone. I've got to blow this pickaxe on stone. I don't like making more than one. But... This time I had to, so I have the wooden sword of shame. I can at least deal with stone tools, I would prefer them. There we go. There's some stone, how much stone do I got? Ooh. Okay, yeah, 13, good. Because I have noticed that there's actually quite a bit of iron around here. There's a bunch of iron down in this cave too. Um. Took a quick sneak peek. The problem is I don't have a lot of coal, and I desperately need coal. In fact, I have seen, like, pretty much zero coal in this area so far, which is a little weird. Usually coal is very easy to find. Like, I gotta get torches. I gotta, you know run a wall around this place and spam it with torches so that at least we'll have a safe area and we won't risk losing villagers. I already had one villager attacked by these little scummy creatures. And I really don't want that to happen again. I need to keep these guys safe. The Bible does say that not only do you have to um, 
take care of people's spiritual needs. You have to take care of their physical needs too. And this culture that I'm in, this villager culture, is a very work-oriented culture. So I'm going to need to work to earn their trust. And that means, yeah, building a wall. Building a wall, keeping them safe. And then, because I will have, hopefully, because I will have done all that work, they will begin to trust me. And it will make it easier to share the gospel with them. We got over here. Is this more of a water or do we got any other caves? Kind of looking for a close cave to get some easy, uh, easy coal. Looking for some really easy coal. We got some mountains back here. This usually offers easy coal. Really need some, really need some coal right now. But yeah, as, as the darkness breeds monsters, so does the dark, spiritual darkness breed monsters, and those monsters happen to be demons. But just as the light kills the monsters, Jesus is the light of the world. Here we go, Cole. If we have, if we have God's light in our hearts, then we don't have Satan's darkness. We'll be a lot less evil people. No one's perfect. Only Jesus was perfect, and look what happened to him. Unfortunately, the world doesn't tolerate perfect people. Yeah, not doing too bad. Found a little coal. That means torches. Yes, I finally have torches. Now I can start making plans to ring this place with ring this place with a wall. Start spamming it a little bit with torches and make it a whole lot safer. Safety is what we want. I mean, we need to earn their trust, so... Here we go. And then, yeah. Yeah, it looks like I'll... That'll probably be the pretty much the first thing that I do is... Go ahead and ring a wall around this place. Ah, oh, such a beautiful day in the village. Which, they told me, is the name of the village is called Nurm. Strange, but okay. But then again, I'm used to America. That's alright. This is the beautiful attic that... Well, okay, so I'm sorry, oh. sort of beautiful attic that I built for, the, for my new landlord. And that's my new dog. I haven't named him yet. I don't have any name tags yet. I'm planning on going fishing... Not so near, not not so far future. But yeah, there's my new pooch. And what I worked on was a bit of a security system. Very, very, very basic. I'll make it look a lot more beautiful in the future. For right now, I just need something that works. And as you know, the good old uh, torch spamming and basic wall. Needed to get it done because, yeah... I gotta get the gotta keep the mobs out of the village. Keeps the villagers safe. I have also a little berry garden, which I watched a pig walk right through those berries. He didn't get hurt. Why does he not get hurt, but I get hurt? Um Whoa, hey! I don't have a shield yet. Should I just bum rush the guy? Yeah, forget, let's bum rush the guy. Yeehaw! Boom. What I get? Ooh, I got a little bug. Okay, so yeah, it's not the greatest. There's still some mob spawning, but I did build a fairly safe mining entrance here that gets me down to gold and somewhat diamond level. And speaking of all that, I'm fully kitted. I got all the diamond, or not diamond, but uh, iron armor. I got iron sword, iron tools. I finally found coal, so I'm doing pretty well getting some of that stuff. Yeah, I guess I'm an archer. Been doing more wandering around the village, talking to the villagers. I found a forge over here, which is good. They're so impressed with my job at the attic that they have asked me to help them with the forge. Like, okay, I think I can do that. So they want me to make chests and do up the forge a little bit. I've also been thinking about what I want to do for my own job here. You know, I, I like to manufacture. I want to make my own money. I have to work for them for now, but that doesn't mean that I can't get a few things done in the future. I've been helping with the gardening. They've been liking that. 
There's a couple of, uh, at least one or two potters here. And yeah, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Again, basic security ah. system. I don't care what a basic security system looks like. I can, I can redo the cosmetics in the future. I just want it to be safe. And I've also heard rumors about the next update. So that we don't have to cloak spam anymore. Oh, that would be so nice. Not having to do that anymore. That would be so nice. Thought I heard something down there. I'm glad I could record again because in real life there was a massive storm outside. I have a steel roof, so of course that's loud. And I heard the sirens going off in Andover, so woohoo! <laughs> I don't think there was an actual tornado, though. I know there wasn't near me. It rained pretty good, but... Oh, yeah, that's the nitwit out there. He's, uh... Well, they're all kind of nitwits, to be honest. Are there... Is there anybody in hearing reach? Anybody in hearing reach? Okay. There's something I need to tell you guys. There is something weird about these villages. The way they look and stuff, I could swear that they're inbred. Like, several centuries. Forget Alabama and West Virginia. These guys take the cake. And, uh, well, they don't know any English anyway. Yeah, they're they're not the brightest. So, also, I designed the wall and security system to, for the most part, keep them in. Because these guys are prone to being a danger unto themselves. So, with me being the primary security system and the wall being hopefully able to do what I can't, yeah, I'm... Want to get into some uh, farming here in the near future? I've already started breeding those pigs over there. I've got a cow there. i got to get him a buddy, but first got to make a wheat farm. So yeah, farming is probably going to be the next biggest thing. Getting some really super basic farms set up in small scale, of course. That way I can do the big scale, fancier farms, more efficient stuff later on. And, uh, yeah. My little tour around the village. I can, I'll work on the roads, I'll work on the river, because I actually want to clean this river out and actually make a nice river and port area. I think that would be so cool. I think that would be so cool. And I don't think the villagers here are going to mind. They seem to be uh, all ears now that I've done the wall and I've done the attic. Yeah, they, they seem to be pretty cool with whatever I have in mind. So that, that's good, that's good. But yeah, yeah, I want to. I want to clean this up, make it look really nice. It's going to take me a while, but I think I can do it. I really think I can do it. Here, kitty. Here, kitty. Oh yeah, I need fish. Need fish. Adore kitties. Absolutely adore kitties. Kitties almost look like my kitty. I've got like three cats in real life. <laughs> and they're my pride and joys. Love them. Absolutely love them. But yeah, this is this is a really, really pretty scenic area. Really, really pretty scenic area. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, three types of wood. Gorgeous river. Also, there's sugar cane right over that way. I'm going to go snatch that, and I want to plant it right along the river. Gorgeous. Will be absolutely gorgeous. Of course, over there, you know, somewhere. Get some of this cleaned up. Got a couple of gates. There's a way to the forest here. I'm kind of keeping... Doing some tree husbandry over here with some oak trees. Now that shears, I can take those wines. But yeah, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. And then once we get like the basic necessities taken care of, we can start on the cool stuff. So I want to get some farms taken care of, like the like tiny basic farms, just so I can get started. Uh. And then I can start doing the cooler stuff, the bigger stuff, clean this up a bit, make nicer buildings. Okay. I'm gonna make you feel a really cool city. Hey, kitty. How's it going, kitty? You look so much like Kato. 
Yeah, I, I will have to design security systems against the drowned or look them up on YouTube. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm winning these guys' trust. I think I am. Which is good, because I need to. And that guy... Yeah, I really don't know what to do about that guy. He's pretty well, uh... Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's in a bad spot, and I really can't get him in. Hi, dude. Yeah, he's, he's in danger. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about him. All right, so that concludes today. A lot has been done, considering I'm really not that great at this game. I've only been playing for three years or so. I'm only a decent affair builder. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the uh, brightest bulb in the box. But, hey, it's fun. Fun for everybody. Oh good, the sun's going on, which means next time I get on I can do some skeleton hunting. Can't wait to get me a skelly farm. Hey pooch. Back up to my apartment. I'm gonna cook some delicious food anyway. I've got five nice steaks. Get her burning. And uh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful gorgeous day. In a beautiful gorgeous town that doesn't look like a glitched out mess. And that's all.